Hello, it's Annalisa Christensen here. Um, I'm afraid I missed actually uh, doing my video yesterday. I did actually do, um, earn, I think it was like four, five, five thousand grains of rice on free rice and um, did a few other little bits, but I didn't do anything major and I forgot to actually do the video, which is terrible. Anyway, so I'm back again today and uh, today um, having put a call out for boxes to make um, planters in to try and plant up on the street for insect corridors um, we picked up three of these boxes here which our local council um, have uh, are no longer using oh there it is <laughs> Um, they're no longer using these. Um, they're now putting the glass in with the other recycling stuff, so they don't need them anymore. So what I'm going to do, and I don't know if I'll be able to show you this, I should probably have uh, sorted this out beforehand, is um, I've got some, um, what do you call them, pallets, and I've started cutting it here to the right size. I'm going to try and make the box here. I'm going to try and make um, some little plant uh, box holders out of these pallets. Um, I haven't got very far yet as you can see so I've got a long way to go if so I move back I'm back in my bed soon. So I actually can't see what I'm uh, doing filming here so uh, yeah so that's uh, it's about the right height. That's as far as I've got and then I had to go off and uh, because I lost my crowbar, I had to buy a new crowbar so to get the pallets apart. And I also had to dry, uh, get a mallet to um, also get the pieces apart. Once the, bit, the bits of wood are apart, um, see I've got, got this bit left and I should be able to make a, another one out of that. Um, and I've got like about, at the moment, I think I've got about uh, eight to ten pallets downstairs, so I should be able to do a few. If I can try and uh, work out how to do um, one uh, box with one pallet, then that means I've got ten boxes. And I went today and collected uh, three, I've got four boxes today, so... Um, all, all I have to do now is make it work. So, yeah, hoping to plant them up, uh, put soil in them. I've got a couple of ideas. One of them is I'm going to put soil in them, and uh, which, oh yeah, I arranged that as well today, um, to go and uh, collect some soil from uh, somebody who's getting rid of it. Uh, so on Sunday, I'll be going and collecting that. Um, and uh, hoping to do a nice little surround, either decorate them myself or I'll leave them for somebody else to decorate and say, uh, um, I was thinking of an idea of adopt a garden. So uh, paint it up yourself, decorate it yourself, as long as I get rid of all the splinters and everything, make it look nice. And then, um, and then they can plant them up themselves because there's a lot of people who don't have gardens or um, they would like to do some wild stuff, but they don't want it in their gardens. So I thought if it, there's a lot of dead spaces along the road and um, if I um, sort this out, make them look nice, put them in places, some I might plant up uh, before putting them out and other ones I might say just put a little sign in saying adopt a garden and uh, see if other people will actually adopt them. If they don't then I can go around planting them up again, that's no hassle. Um, but it'd be kind of nice if people uh, would actually um, take some on so that I wouldn't have to look after all of them. It'd be nice if um, if people kind of like had a little bit of pride in them and wanted their street to look nice and also want to help the insects. There's been quite a lot of support for it on our local next door um, on the app, the next door app. There's uh, quite a lot of people have said that... Uh, they're really interested and it sounds really good. So um, I've, I've also arranged today for um, a local Hastings councillor to do a call out 
um, to see if we can get any more of these boxes and then I can store them in the uh, cellar until they're needed. And also, um, having put the call out, um, I've also connected with somebody else who's making gardens for um, the less well-off uh, in another area of Hastings um, and helping them to create edible and um, insect-friendly gardens. So um, we're going to try and uh, I, I will try and help her do her project and she says that she will also try and help me do mine so that'll be kind of cool um joining up with somebody else who's got a similar idea so yeah so it's, it's kind of nice that there's a bit of community about this already and people have been really nice and really friendly and uh, really helpful and um yeah let's see where it goes eh so see you tomorrow and uh, bye for now. Oh, don't forget um, details are all down below and you can like me, like the video and you can subscribe and I would love to have you along for the ride and well, um, I hope that you will be enjoying to doing your own thing and everything we do, every single little thing we do counts. So um, let's make it count. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>